Hello, this is Computronics with SafeNet Solutions and today we're going to talk about how to utilize AVAS to make your computer more secure. Uh, we recommend AVAS Home Edition for people that don't want to pay for an antivirus. It's one of the best free editions out there. You even get a key for uh, 14 months for free from AVAS. So anyway, you can download it from our website, from our toolbar. And uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show real quick how to utilize the uh, advanced controls on AVAS. So what I'm going to do here on the little A, I'm going to right click on it and go where it says on access protection control and that's going to open the splash menu and I'm going to click and it says details okay and I'm going to go to what it says now if you notice there's different shields here but the one I'm interested in right now is called web shield and what I'm able to do with web shield is very interesting I can click right there I can customize it so let's say I don't want my kids to be on my space today or YouTube or whatever website I want to ground them from I can go right here where it says URL blocking click there and I enable URL blocking what does that do well you can add websites in here you know just like this www make sure you put the www there myspace.com okay so we add that one okay and then we'll add let's say uh, Facebook www.facebook.com there you go and it's got a little asterisk on it so that means it's a wild card that means that any variation of that website uh, is gonna be blocked by Avast so I'm gonna press OK and press OK. Now, one of the things you want to do, make sure your kids don't disable that, is when you right click on Avas again and you go what it says set and change password. Okay, so you enter a new password, whatever the password it is. Make sure you don't forget the password because if you forget it, you're not going to be able to get back in there and make any changes. You're going to have to really going through a lot of trouble trying to get rid of Avas after that so make sure your password is correct and you remember it well you press OK so now if somebody wants to go back in here it's gonna ask you for the password so that way nobody can actually change anything in here okay now we're gonna try to browse so since so we block my space real quick we'll go to my space on Google and there it is and let me just uh, zoom it for you a little bit so you can see what it says okay and it says Avas web shield warning access denied and as you can see it's basically uh, blocking my space from the internet and that way your kids cannot go to my space or whatever website you don't want them to go to and you can always go back in there so let's say you know now they're not punished anymore and you want to allow them in or just go back in here right click on Avas click on protection control put your password in and now you can go back on web shield customize it again go to URL blocking and just instead of you erasing the websites um, just unclick enable URL blocking just like that and press OK so that way you don't have to type in the websites every time you just disable the uh, URL blocking now we go back here in my space, make sure that it's working. Just like that, and we click on my space, and now we should be able to browse. And there you go. It's not blocked anymore. This is a real cool tool from Avast that is gonna allow you to control what your kids go and watch online. You know, we use OpenDNS, of course, to program the router uh, so you can filter more customized uh profiles you can actually block uh, porn and everything else but this is for a temporary block for you don't want your kids to go to certain websites okay i hope this tutorial was helpful and i'll be posting more in the future thank you computronics here with safeness solutions bye bye now